Dry Needling, a presentation by Rebecca Thompson. Objective. The purpose of this presentation is to bring knowledge of the impact of dry needling on myofascial trigger points in the healing process. Background. Dry needling is done for the purpose of pain reduction and to decrease function due to myofascial trigger points. The normal treatment for pain and dysfunction associated with myofascial trigger points is by means of medication, electrical stimulation, ice, heat, ultrasound, and massage. Contraindications include, but are not limited to, abnormal bleeding tendencies, compromised immune system, cancer, vascular disease, pregnancy, epilepsy, allergy to metals or latex, cognitive impairments, and an inability to communicate. Some precautions of dry needling include local skin lesions, obesity, lotions or dirt on the area of treatment, and sterilized needles. Common dry needling indications consist of acute or chronic pain and dysfunction due to myofascial trigger points. Description Dry needling is performed through the repeated insertion of solid fill form needles or hollow core hypodermic needles into a myofascial trigger point. Dry needling uses mechanical interruption to deactivate the trigger point. In a treatment session, the patient is placed in a relaxed position that allows the provider access to the treatment area. A trigger point is then identified and a sterile needle is inserted into the skin towards the myofascial trigger point. The needle is then repeatedly inserted rapidly into the myofascial trigger point without ever being fully removed from the skin. This process is done on each myofascial trigger point in the area. The needle should be pistoled for one to two local twitch responses before being removed. If no local twitch response occurs, the needle should be removed and reinserted at a different position. If a provider is unable to elicit a local twitch response, the same effect can be achieved by leaving the needle in place for 5 to 10 minutes. After the needle is removed, Direct pressure should be applied to the area for 5 to 10 seconds. Sessions should be spread out by a minimum of two days between. Improvement should be seen after two to three sessions and subacute conditions and five to six for chronic conditions. To practice dry needling, a dry needling license is required and the provider must abide by the FDA laws. Clinical advantages. Dry needling is a treatment option when myofascial trigger points are present causing pain and dysfunction. A study conducted by Walkman Army Medical Center to determine the effect of dry needling has on hamstring flexibility in cases of knee pain when paired with stretching versus stretching alone concluded that there was no significant improvement in range of motion, pain, and self-reported function when daily stretching was paired with dry needling compared to dra daily stretching with sham dry needling. A similar study connected by Iran University of Medical Science and Health Studies tested the long-term effect of eliciting a local twitch response of dry needling. This study concluded that dry needling without eliciting a local twitch response produced significant improvement in pain intensity pain pressure threshold, and active cervical range of motion after four weeks when measured against dry needling eliciting a local twitch response. Dry needling with 
electrotherapy is shown in the image below. Dry needling when paired with other modalities, for example, electrotherapy at the motor level to elicit muscle contractions shows greater outcomes than dry needling alone or placebo in inhibiting pain. Conclusions and recommendations. In conclusion, the evidence behind dry needling as a form of intervention for myofascial trigger points to decrease pain and dysfunction is inconclusive, and there are many contradicting studies to support and oppose the use of dry needling. For this reason, the use of dry needling as a method of treatment should be determined case by case as the result vary from person to person. These are the references that I use to find this information. Thank you.